what are the milestones that have been achieved and the ones which proved to be huge, a huge challenge? Actually, there are various stages in which we trying to complete. You said that your last visit was October 2022. 2022. Mm. That was the time when we were still working on the raft and plinth area. So that area, so the one milestone and very rightly you said, the foundation which is about 12 meters in depth, meters and then you have raft which is 2 meters in height and then the plinth of granite which is again about 2.5 meters in height. That is the milestone 1 which basically means the foundation is getting completed. Once the foundation is complete, then you start the second challenge and that is how you put the stone now. Because the stone is the actual weight on this foundation. And that has to be done after a great deal of not just care, but after a great deal of scientific examination on what is the load factor which can come on this. And that load factor was all estimated through simulation exercises by IIT Chennai and also by Central Building Research Institute Rurki. And what they did, they worked for a simulation of earthquake also. So all kinds of calamities which can challenge the stability of the structure. And once that was done there in the lab, they came to the conclusion that what are the parameters necessary for the stone to be put up? What strength should be provided at the arms of the stone in order to withstand the pressure and also to make it more resilient that if there is any kind of tremor, shake, then they are able to withstand it. So that was the uh, second milestone and we started. When we completed that stone work, when I'm describing it is looking simple, but the putting the stones, cladding of the stone, making the roof of the stone, all of it that required a lot of skill and that was supervised by Central Building Research Institute very minutely. Even what space is allowed between two stones is fixed, 0.5 mm is the maximum that can be fixed. Beyond that is not allowed. So that is what was done here and we passed that test answer your question. The second a milestone was that and once that got completed then we had the third work was the pillars, iconography on pillars. Now here in the scheme of things for the total temple, roughly about 350 pillars are there. Of that, 170 pillars are on the ground floor. These pillars, each pillar has got 25 to 30 figures. And these figures are also, you know, in some manner, Predetermined. It is as per the Nagar Shali temples and Avad temple. For example, in the pillar, 
if you show devangana so what are the different moods of devangana that will have to be shown on the pillar so iconography of you can imagine 170 pillars each pillar with 25 to 30 figures that has to be done so that milestone we are at the moment engaged Tell me, what are the challenges which really tested everything, system and everything which have, you have faced so far? Frankly, you know, we have very eminent company which is doing the implementation, which is Larson and Tubro. We also have a very eminent monitoring team which is headed by Tata Consultant of Engineers. Mm -hmm. Then we have IITs, five IITs with whom I have signed the contract. Mm -hmm. And then we have Central Building Research Institute. The most challenging part which engages my every day, every day it is on an average there are 10 mails which I have to resolve and that is on the difference of opinion. What kind of differences? Starting with the foundation, when the first difference was should it be based on pile foundation or it should be based on excavating the soil, refilling the engineered soil to make a raft. and mm -hmm. then that engineered soil then becomes like a stone in 28 days. So there were two views. After all the high-rise constructions all over the world that's being made on pile foundation. So everyone wondered, what's so special? Why can't we make it on pile foundation? But after a great deal of debate within the trust and with these experts, we opted for the foundation where 12 to 15 meter was dug out and once it was dug out then it was filled so you can imagine the opinion how that opinion got resolved is interesting mm -hmm. since there were two views so we formed a committee of the ex directors of IIT and ex IIT director Delhi Dr. Rao, who is in Hyderabad, he was requested to head that committee. It comprised of all the five representatives from the IITs, Larson Tubro, Tata Consultant Engineers, and one or two more experts. Finally, this committee recommended that if you go for refill, it will take time, no doubt, but maybe it is safer option. We opted for that. All right. So this is the kind of difference. I mean, from that stage, you can come to a difference opinion. What should be the load of power? Mm -hmm. What should be the order on DG sets as emergency standby if the load of power is X or Y? Because it has got cost implications. There is dip, huge difference of opinion about certain constructions which are recommended in, let's say, Vastu, mm -hmm. but which became a challenge to the safety of devotee. We cannot create here just because the Vastu wanted those Umrahs all over. We could not create that because it would have led to a stampede. If anyone fell on that height, it would have been very serious. Correct. So here again, there was a difference of opinion. And the difference of opinion went to the extent where my architect said, I will not agree with you unless you give it in my writing. Mm -hmm. So I had to give it in writing mm -hmm. that you will not put Umbra mm. 
there. And then finally, the umrah was removed in the design and the construction went on. From A to Z, everything will be... If there is difference of opinion, mm -hmm. then also it has to come. Mm -hmm. And even if they agree, mm -hmm. then also the verification has to come. They all agreed that we must buy DG sets for 4000 KVA. But actually, uh, I mean, okay, I accommodated, but I know for certain it is not going to be required. Okay. I have respected the views because it was unanimous, but I know that it will not be more than one DG set of 750 KVA and one of 500. It will never be required. But then, okay, if you are told suddenly that, look, if there is a power failure in a temple like this, you know the consequences. No, I could not, I could not take that I get burden that. on that's, my that's, shoulders. That's pretty <laughs> yeah. true. So sometimes you are told, if you don't do this, these are the consequences. Yeah.